What is up guys? We are back and as promised we are going to put in this new card that we got from Mylaya and we are going to see how well it does. Um, this is actually the first time I've shown you guys the inside of my tower. Uh, it didn't take too much. It's only about a $300 build. Um, a lot of it though is trading old components. Um, but yeah, it's definitely looking about where I want it right now. So let's see what we can do about getting this in here. Let's see. I like that placement. So that will have to move. All right. Let's get it on this one. Now, that. And that. Now I just need to get a SATA power over there. Yeah, in here. PCI. Uh, more or less will work. Alright, so this came with an adapter to go from Molex. To SATA power, which shall come in handy. Let's see. Try to get the best looking design. Not gonna look what it used to. All right, power is connected. Let's see here. Put that on there. That's not horrible. I've seen better, but I've seen worse. So now that that is in, let us see what we can do. About put this in. All right, so we got the computer up and running now. And log in super quick. Get this disk ready. There's an eject button there.
USB 3.0 card. Wow, there's some interesting things on here. That's all for those ones. Tron had more folders. I don't have Mac OS, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, that's nothing. Driver. That's just those. Intel. System files. Yeah, it's nothing. Let's see if, uh, I don't know. Nothing really to do but to try it. Let's see. Let's start with the Seagate one terabyte backup slim. Well, it's active. And let's see. Well, the card must work. There we go. Let us see what we have for, say, pictures. Let's look at some cute animals because everyone wants to see cute animals. Baby bug. Piglets. So yeah, got all of this. Cool. Well, that uh, that looks like it worked out pretty good. All right, so let's try this thumb drive, which is also a USB 3 thumb drive. And we will put it in here. All right, there we go. That one is active. And you can see all of these. This one has my name on it. So there's all of those. So that's good. Cool. So there's that. Let us add another port. My iPad is back here. We are charging the iPad and we are able to see the iPad. It's going to ask me I will allow. All right. And then there's one more port that is not being used. And we can add my phone to it. I was kind of afraid to see what's in here, but there's nothing bad in here. All right. 
So that's it for today's video. We've successfully installed and demonstrated the four port USB 3 uh, expansion card. It works great. Uh, I definitely give it two thumbs up and the guys over at my lab did a wonderful job. It is perfect. Um, and thank you guys so much for sending that to me and letting me test this for you. It was a wonderful pleasure. And uh, we'll see you guys later.